Hey, welcome to my channel. Uh, this is Alpha. I will be uh, giving a quick tutorial and setup on the Mech Wars game. So, uh, as those of you who are new, um, take advantage of this and uh, set your game up right so you can play and have fun. First of all, uh, on the top left, you got a settings gear. Let's go over there first. Now, I am on Android, so you will notice that the uh, it, right under my name it'll say Google so uh, uh, first of all I'll, uh, I'll pretty much save my game on that if you have um, if you have an iOS device um, there should be a way to save your game through there um, through the iCloud or, or anything like that um, so uh, that would be the first thing I would say very important do not play the game and then lose your progress and have to restart all over again it is annoying, a lot of players have had that happen and uh, the developers can't really do much about it. So make sure you always save your game. Now, uh, that's one way to do it. Next thing, uh, nickname. Choose a name that you would like to use. Uh, mind you, you will have to pay gold after you change your name. So uh, think long and hard on, uh, on a name you'd like to use uh, because it's gonna stick with you for a while. Also, if you're a very good player, it'll stick. Uh, it'll stick with you throughout the entire game and uh, the entire time you play. The next thing on uh, the left of the nickname is a flag. Um, you can choose any one of these flags uh, that will represent you or your clan or whatever you want, even one that looks cool. So go ahead and do that. Make sure the language is set properly, which it should. Um, you got this on the right, the Customize In-Game Buttons. So uh, tap on Customize. Here you'll be able pre pretty much to set up your uh, user interface. So on the left side you got your joystick uh, that you can use and uh, if you tap on it you can resize it. And um, on the right side you got the same thing, you can resize your buttons. Um, that's what I did. I increased the size of the fire button. Make sure I don't miss that button when I'm in the heat of battle. Um, <clears throat> you also have your uh, power-ups. You have uh, power-up 3, 2, and 1 on the far right side. You can move those anywhere on the screen to make it easier for you. Now, uh, when I'll, I'll talk about the power-ups in a sec. Um, you do have your two abilities, Ability 1 Ability 2, which is uh, fairly standard. You'll get used to um, just seeing where they are and just using them as accordingly. But with the power-ups, um, you gotta watch for that because when you buy your power-ups they will be different and I will show you why so here you have power-up 3 at the top 2 in the middle 1 at the bottom now if I go into if I go home and I go into battle you'll notice that my power-ups are set now again it goes from 3 to 1 going down and here um, I have my power-ups as 1, 2, and 3. So number 1 being the enhanced bullet, 2 the armor, and 3 my mobile shield. So when I go into a game, my power-up 3 um, that appears on the top right is actually going to be my mobile shield. So you can decide to either change it up um, to follow the same power-ups uh, list or just go backwards. So make sure you have all that set up in the customize. You also have a forum and a Discord. I do encourage you to join the Discord server. Um, there's a lot of uh, great players on there and uh, you can ask many questions and have the developers even answer you. So that's uh, something really cool about this game. You got the game place on the, uh, in the middle there. Uh, I have my sound effects turned all the way up, my music turned all the way up. If I want to bring down the volume, I can. But uh, I just like to hear the music playing in the background. Touch sensitivity. Now, it usually starts around the middle. And uh, as you gradually play, you might want to mess with that a little bit. Um, I have gotten used to playing at a higher sensitivity rate. Some people have it all the way maxed. Um, I'm okay where I am. Uh, so just play where where you feel most comfortable at. Measurement units. 
is uh, meters and miles. Uh, I'm just sticking with meters. I'm not even going to touch that. You don't really have to do anything with that. But it'll help you when, when you're trying to aim and uh, get into range. Uh, in terms of the other stuff like atomic vertical view, just leave it the same. Auto lock when shooting a robot, leave that off. There's no need for that. Um, switch over to graphics. Now this is very important. If you're using a low-end device, I encourage you to put everything on low. So uh, if you're on a high-end device, put everything on high. Any uh, old devices, right? Just keep it somewhere where um, your frame rate's gonna be pretty, pretty much stable. Um, we got shadows. It, again, if you're in a low-end device, you can turn that off. If uh, you're in a high end, you can keep that on. Uh, high resolution textures, same thing. You can turn it off or you can turn it on. It's up to you. You got the fog, same thing. Uh, screen resolution, I have it on Ultra as I have a brand new phone. Um, if you're playing on a new device, yeah, you can put it on high or Ultra. Um, if you're playing on a low end device or an older model, uh, you can use low and you'll just play just fine. You won't lag too much. Um, so those are pretty much the setups for that. If you click on your name, uh, you'll notice that your profile pops up. Here you can look at all your stats. Uh, it's just something I'll look at. It's not nothing really that important. Uh, boosters. Boosters is very important. As you go in the game and progress, you will be unlocking boosters and power-ups as well. The boosters will actually increase your all your bots um, hit points, speed, fuel capacity, heating capacity, and damage. You can see that on the right side. Each one of these boosters will uh, target a different a different part of your bot. Um, whether it's going to raise your health points or it's going to lower your health points. And this is very important as it will affect every single one of your bots. Um, you do have to pay blueprints for it so in order to do that you have to gain a certain amount of blueprints uh, so you can purchase the next level and then you can continue building uh, these blueprints are are given to you either through the store where you can purchase with money or uh, you can use or you can get uh, blueprints uh, purchased by gold or even in the gold chest that they give you every week or even uh, daily gifts you can also find it there these are all uh, different ways for you to get the boosters that you need um, it does come in random so make sure you're always upgrading your boosters power-ups power-ups is the exact same thing each power-up is different uh, they will they will help you in in a moment in battle uh, if you use them right you'll gain an advantage if you use them wrong it's going to take you uh, a lot of hits in order to try to get them back again so uh, use them accordingly use them to to when you need them and uh, yeah same thing you use uh, blueprints in order to level these things up um, and to acquire them so make sure you you do your best to max them out and yeah, they do cost silver um, so yeah make sure you do that I'll catch you guys on the next one